You're a disaster. Like this a little kid. What the heck, dude? Yeah. Wipe that up. God, yes. I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> she loves me. Tampa RV show and expo. Uh, thankfully, this year the weather's better than it was last year. For you, <laughs> as as my brother Juan said, <laughs> we're at the uh, 2023 RV Super Show in, in Tampa. And how's the weather, Juan? The weatherman over here. How's the weather? Uh, sunny with a chance of rain. Last year when we came, it was uh, overcast, cold, and uh, very and rainy all day. Yeah. But it's a great day here. We're, uh, we're searching for uh, a few RVs. There's one in particular from Alliance that I'm hoping to see. And uh, we just want to show you around a little bit. Show I just you. came for the food. He just came for the food. We want to show you around a little bit to see, uh, uh, so you guys can see what it's like if you haven't been here. And uh, that one, there's a particular Alliance uh, Avenue all access that uh, we're interested in seeing. And uh, I'm not sure if they'll have it this year, or it's a brand new model, so I'm hoping that they have it. And uh, that may be a little bit of an of an upgrade. Where'd you go? Um, where's the camera going? I can't get the camera to go the right way. There you go. <laughs> so we're hoping uh, we're hoping that they have that model here because we are selling our Grand Design Imagine 3100 RD, and uh, our plan, if everything goes as as we hope, that we'll uh, we'll end up uh, jumping into that alliance. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll show you around. Right. Let's go Rome. Touche. Stop to take a picture with Izzy and MJ from uh, Endless RVing, and I lose my people. What the heck? <laughs> We're here in Alliance. You want to lead the way? Yeah, because I need. Yep, yep, yep. Here, all access. Hopefully, they have the 28 BH. <laughs> that 28 BH bunkhouse is the one that we are hoping to see. Look around and see. Hopefully, they brought it. It is a brand new model. Where are you? Where are you? No, this is Paradigm over here. That's not it. Maybe... Introduce yourself. Hey guys, Ab Salé with Alliance RV. Uh, I'm the general manager over our Avenue line. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you maybe a little more in depth about the 28BH and kind of you know what we were thinking when we, when we started this for. Perfect. That's, that is, like I said, Ab, that's the model that we are interested in seeing. Great. Um, I will say quickly, um, we had a little bit of an error on the specs here, but the coach is 31 feet, 11 inches. It's in our all access line, um, about 84 to 8,600 pounds. So all access is kind of our uh, our spin on, a lot of folks call it a half ton or a, a 150 or 1500. And, and we didn't want to insinuate that all of our all access floor plans were half ton towable. Uh, that's for the consumer to decide. But what we do know is they are all under 32 feet. 
right? So our focus is primarily on length and pin weight. So all access is about accessibility. It's about getting into state parks and national parks and, and getting into tight uh, storage spaces and driveways. So uh, that's our focus. And what's really cool is we really didn't decontent anything. You get into those lighter segments, yes. um, you know, and, and you'll find they pull things out like solid surface countertops or went to smaller slide rooms or went to a smaller refrigerator and, and we didn't do any of that. So, uh, you know, we're a little heavier than most. We're probably two, 300 pounds heavier, but I don't think it changes your tow vehicle. And I think you get more amenities for that. Okay. Another neat thing we did, we went 101 inches wide. So we added more square footage without adding the length. Awesome. But well, we're we're actually in a 36 foot trailer. Okay. I'll pull behind, and uh, we upgraded to a 3500 Ram, just because we, our plan that's smart was to go to a fifth wheel. So as soon as we saw that th this model, the 28 BH, had been uh, released or it was about to come out, we were very excited. Being a smaller yeah. uh, fifth wheel and being able to tow without a problem. Well, I appreciate your patience. You know, no, no, it's a awesome. new, newer line. So we came out with. Uh, a 36 BRM, we were really rounding out that avenue category. So 36 BRM, which was 39 feet, four inches, was on the bigger side. Yep. Then we came out with the 31 BHS Avenue that was 33 feet, 11 inches. Um, and then we just recently prototyped a, a new mid bunk that is here at the show as well. Another big one. So it feels good and feels right to have a smaller offering. Oh, for sure. Maybe I can uh, show you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're, we're excited. We've yeah. been waiting, so yeah. I guess quickly on the outside, um, you know, Running gear is a big thing for us. You know, it's uh, the continuity between Valor and Paradigm and Avenue. You'll find that we do not skimp here. So, Goodyear uh, uh, Endurance tires. We're using uh, an eight-inch I-beam with a two-inch torsion tube. Uh, we're using half-inch shackle kits on this category, which is pretty unseen versus a quarter inch. Those tend to snap and break. We've also implemented steel uh, V brackets in all of our spring hangers. And lastly, we, we went with the Moride CRE 3000 system. Great. It's a great system. You'll see it on a lot of RVs. Oh, yeah. Uh, so a very proven product. Yeah, we're, we're happy with Moride products. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even more with the Moride uh, uh, step here. The reason I like this entry step is you know, a lot of brands out there, uh, they have a pin that you've got to remove when you're trying to adjust the legs. There's just a, a trigger on this, so it's very easy to adjust. Uh, makes that camp set up a lot quicker. So, all yeah. Asdell on the exterior, which is a big deal. Uh, those of you that know what Asdell is, it's really it's just a, it's a composite. It's a recycled plastic that water doesn't adhere to. We hear a lot about water intrusion in the industry, and you know, um, it can really do some damage. So this is going to prevent that significantly so so I'll show you a couple things in here oh, yeah they're with us they're just hiding no, except no, for Juan I told him I didn't sign a release, didn't sign a release for that I didn't sign immediate release let's see what happened well, so I'll start I'll start back here on the bu uh, kind of the bunk area we got it flipped up right now but that's right you know, this is and this little mess back here brochures things of that sort but two massive 56 by 74 inch sleeping areas we wanted to get clever here and, and utilize as much wasted space as possible so You'll notice that this bottom bunk flips all the way back and we put an entry door on the off door side. So if you're bringing e-bikes or a big grill or just a large cooler or whatever, right? So we've got a ton of storage here that uh, is gonna be real beneficial. We also have a tri-fold sleep sleeper sofa here that's gonna make a full bed. Um, so that's just gonna add more areas of sleep. You know, historically what you'll find in most bunk house fifth wheels or travel trailers is we find those 80 inch U-shaped dinettes, if they're even 80 inches. And uh, they're a little deceiving in my opinion. They look they look great, they look like it's gonna work, but it's tough, I, it's tough to sit three people there. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to come up with a creative way to comfortably seat a handful of people and still offer a massive pantry. Yes. So what we did was we went with a legless dinette set up here two booth dinettes and then we've got a removable ottoman here it's actually storage too nice. that you can simply slide under mm -hmm. for transportation yeah. purposes but also if you pull it out now we've got two four potentially six mm -hmm. so we're seating more at this space in a u-shaped dinette traditionally and being able to gain this massive pantry i just i, just, I haven't seen a pantry this large in a and a coach that's yep. this short. It's, it's very deep as well. And that's a great way to highlight that 101 inch wide body too. I mean, we get deeper cabinets, more room around the bed. Um, so there's a lot of added benefits to that. We talked earlier, solid surface countertops. Again, another unseen category uh, or unseen feature in this category. Um, stainless steel pot and pan uh, drawer uh, just below the range. 
and a ton of windows that all open. And just behind you, I, I should have highlighted this. Yeah, I <laughs> That's right. I know. Um, 75 inch tall slide boxes. Most of them are 70 inches, if that. I've seen 68 in some cases. So it gives us this big window and it just feels more inviting and a little roomier in our opinion. The colors in here are beautiful too because it's Thank really light and bright. Well, that's what we kept hearing, right? Uh, you know, not every day is a sunny day and we wanted something yeah. that, uh, that was bright. But we also really took a hard look at what folks were doing with their existing RVs. How are they renovating them? What are they doing yeah. to change them? And, and we yeah. saw a lot of the light natural wood, yep. a lot of the white. Um, because so the dark wood makes it look older. It does. I agree. And you know, decor is tough. Everyone's got their mm -hmm. matter of, of another opinion or taste. Yeah. But you know, what I like about it, it's very, there's, there's, a, there's a decent amount of contrasting, but it's more complimenting. So yeah. you can bring any color you want here. I think yeah. you can make yes. a red work, a blue work, mm -hmm. a green work. Um, so we wanted to kind of give you that clean slate to, to do what you want with it. Yeah. One big, big feature here, if you look down the hall, you know, typically with a north-south bed configuration, you've got an additional step you got to take before getting into the bed. Yep. Yes. We've eliminated that. That's it's a full great. flush floor in yeah. the bedroom. And no carpet. No carpet. No, no carpet, carpet anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yes. No in-floor heat ducts. No crumb collectors either. Yes. yes. They're, all kind yeah. of, they're all coming they're all out of the, uh, on the side, right? Yeah. The ducts are on the side yes. there Love for sure. That. I talked about wide body a few times, but again, the big benefit here is, especially in a north-south setup, we have 25 and a half inches from the wall to the mattress. That's a lot That's of huge space. That's a lot of space. Oh, you can definitely see it. Yeah, you can see it from oh, here. Yeah. The door is a little bit closed, but you can yep. definitely see how, how much you can space. See it. And we'll walk back there now. For T sure. Uh, before we go Please. back there, tell me about the uh, the size of the uh, refrigerator. Right. And is this a 12 volt? It is a 12 volt. Yeah, awesome. 12 volt. Okay. It's a 12 volt refrigerator. Um, uh, in our Avenue product, we use the 16. This also helped us accomplish the pantry, right? And we, we hear often that there's a lot more dry goods coming, than, and, and, but this is still sufficient. It's very deep, it's yes. surprisingly deep. Um, you know, it's a Furion product, they do a great job for us. Uh, this whole configuration just, just works very well. The uh, cubic feet in this one is ten. a 10? It is a 10, okay. correct. Yep, another neat thing I'll point out real quick, um, you know, we've got uh, flush LED can lights. You know those pancake and lens lights you yep. see everywhere? I think it's a nice touch. It's just a residential feature that we, we yeah. see in our homes and we should see them in our campers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they all dim, which is great too. So everything's dimmable, even the slide boxes. Oh, nice. Yeah, that can be a little blinding at times. So mm -hmm. it's nice to have that feature. <laughs> That's nice. Um, Beautiful backsplash. Well. Just a nice little feature here. Oh, Gives nice. it more counter space, mm -hmm. but yeah. also a nice prep space. Uh, beautiful uh, nice. backsplash as well. Yeah, we and just upgraded to that. Yeah, instead of having you know the tile effect or that type of you know, yeah. one one solid looking piece looks yes, great. Yeah, I appreciate for sure. it. Also went with an epoxy handrail here. Like I was just using the wood. In fact, we started using wood early on, but this is just a great little feature. And also on the oven, the the uh, drawer on the bottom. We will keep going, but uh, the little touch that you that you guys added on the bottom to make it seem like a full oven all the way to the bottom, even though this is a drawer. It just yeah, it makes it it makes it it definitely makes it look more uh, residential for sure. I appreciate that for sure. observation, and you know at the end of the day, the storage is the key component, right? Yep, yep. Oh, is this a, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of excited to be seeing. Uh, sorry about the mess. We're in the grassy area. Here, no, so. no, you're good. Is this uh, this is like a little shoe storage yeah, in the bottom yeah, as well? A spot for shoe storage. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Yep. Yep. You got it. So if we come on here, you know, this is a part that I think is pretty impressive when we're talking about. Remember, we're in we're in the uh, under 32 feet here. This is a very inviting bathroom. A ton of storage below the sink. Nice epoxy countertops. Um, great size medicine cabinet. We've got a fan above us. Look at all this linen storage here as well. I mean, again, very that's deep too. Deep. Yeah. And the shower, right? Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very tall. I'm five nine. <laughs> Come on, you, man! You're taller than me. In here, six six. You know, <laughs> even taller than that. So um, it's it's a very accommodating shower. I'm not a good one to show this off. <laughs> <laughs> Child hooks behind us, and uh, and a porcelain foot flush toilet. So another cool thing we did. I small but I like it is if we have an illuminated light switch in the bathroom no. so it's not blinding but that light always turns on even when I turn the lights off so in the evening it makes it a little easier to find the light switch I got you yeah 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 we always need our, our night lights when you're when, when we're Especially, knocked out yeah, I'm a little dizzy yeah. in the middle of the Oop. night so I uh, let me back up so you can oh, squeeze no, through no worries yeah, come on in. I'll, I'll let you on this side because I think this yeah. is where I mean, we have a ton of space here, about 19 inches, but 25 and a half inches from that 
again, this is pretty inviting for a coach under 32 feet north-south setup. We didn't run the wardrobe all the way down here because it feels like a coffin is what I've heard when yeah. you do that. And you really can't get a lot of clothes in here. So we left that open with storage on both sides. You've got outlets on both sides. You also have USB chargers on both ends. Well, I'll give you a, give you a little bit of a testimony. One of the reasons why we're very interested in, sure. in this model. Uh, we have a competitor's trailer, as yeah. I had mentioned. I won't mention them. Oh, no worries. But definitely the... Uh, the storage coming all the way down when you have a queen size what happens is we're side sleepers and when you want to extend your arm right you, you have to stick it in the little hole where it's like a little cubby where yeah, you would I normally exactly put your glass about it would cut into here right so it, it, it's a little bit uncomfortable so being able to be a side sleeper and extend your arm even if it's on top of the the nightstand makes it makes deal. it way more comfortable I'm a flopper too I'm all over the place right <laughs> so I'd probably end up upside down in here but but yeah that would be great just to lay your arm there I mean even though you're not here I don't know you're doing it but right but still yeah I don't want to you know smack my wife in the middle of the night while, I, <laughs> yeah, <don't laughs> while I'm sleeping great storage here as well Oop, let me swing around this is deep oh, oh, sorry sorry so, no I'm wearing a book bag I, so. yeah I talked about not being able to get clothes in there but obviously we have a dedicated area for that and we have three massive, massive drawers what I love about these drawers and every single drawer in the Alliance Avenue and, and all of our products is they're all reinforced. You have an additional piece of plywood on the bottom of the cabinet. I don't know if your camera will get that. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah. You know, it's a simple add, but that goes from, that makes it a 90 pound capacity drawer. Right? Just one, one arm. And it's just glue on. I, I can't tell you how many times I've heard customers say, we put some weight in there and it just blows it right out. So. Um, yeah, we just go the extra step there. For sure. And then a ton of storage under here as well. I don't know if there's anything in here or not, but you'll see oh. uh, just a great space. Oh yeah, for sure. And it, and it does go way All deeper, way, down. way deeper than, than we're used to. Yeah, you can definitely put, uh, maybe even my electric bike can go in there. Yeah. <laughs> and then we, we have the second AC on this particular coach. That's one of the very few options that we offer. Okay. And then a dimmer switch in here as well. Awesome. Yeah. Is there anything else as far as op uh, like you said, that's one of the options, few options. Right. So what what else are we looking at as yeah. far as availability we've, for options? That's a great question. You know, we've we started this brand wanting to have the least amount of options as possible. I think that um, it can be overwhelming. There's brands out there that have 20 options and, you know, you start questioning whether you've got the right options. How did the price fluctuate so much? Do I really need that? Um, so we want to fully load this coach, um, you know, you know, buy a Cadillac and get offered four levels, right? right. If you're buying a Cadillac, you should get a Cadillac. Um, so the only option here is we option in an off-the-grid package, right? It's a solar package, and that is the absolutely only option on here. Right. And Other plus, than second plus AC, the air, yes, me. okay. Yeah. Uh, second AC, solar package. Which we'll need in Florida for sure. For sure. Yeah, two on this, yeah. So one nice thing about the Avenue product is we properly prep for solar. So if you find a coach out there that doesn't have the solar package, and I'll explain what that entails, we're running a chase on every coach from the pass through to the roof. We're inverting, our fiber outlets are already hot, uh, and we prep for an inverter. So it becomes a plug and play process. I think a lot of people don't understand, you know, it, it's not as easy to add solar to a product that isn't properly prepped. It's right. labor intensive, it can be costly. Um, so what we offer is a 335 watt panel, a 2000 watt inverter and a 20 amp MPPT charge controller uh, in, in that solar package. You're looking around, I think it's about $2,000. Um, so uh, it's that, a nice feature. And that is the option, as it you mentioned. The option. Okay. Yep. Awesome. This one is. Does it, this one have solar up top? I have right to now? look. I, I, I don't. I, I don't believe it does, but I have to double check. Oh, yeah, we've good. got some coaches here that do have it though. Okay. Yeah. So, so and this model, it's still the way that it's the more of a prototype version here, but it will go higher. Correct. Yeah. So oh, what we've done perfect. is we've extended this ladder. I think we grew it about ten inches, so the top would end up right here. When this kicks out, it just gives you a lot. It's a little easier for, for you know, folks to get up here. For sure. Another thing I forgot to mention is I thought it was clever, but we have cabinet doors on both oh, sides yeah. here. Access on so both. Can, yeah. So if you know you're, this is where you're sleeping for the weekend or week or whenever, forever, you can access your stuff pretty easy from the top. So just a random thought: since there is lights here and you have electrical running there, I wonder if you guys could put USB plugs on top and the bottom so we that can, way yeah it's a great that's a great idea we do have outlets on the top oh, and do? bottom okay but not the usbs that yeah that's a big thing right now like yes. I, you, you know just 
m- moving forward, I think. You know, I've been patiently. That, I agree. Form. I've been patiently waiting. I've got him on order. Uh, so we're doing a, a, a dual USB. So the common USB, but then there's a C charge, right? Yeah, there's a new that's, that's a so new we're trying to get that in yep. implemented as yeah. well. And th- it's those little things that I started to see, like companies, car manufacturers, and stuff like that, starting to implement. I'm like, all right, then they're actually thinking a little bit more, correct? Like in in, in forward because. Yep. Soon the old USBs are going to be phased out. You've got to push for innovation, right? And cars are ahead of us a little bit in the game. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. But we, we, I mean, we can't get it done, right? We, so we've been pushing for that. We're going to have it across all our products. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's out there. You still find yeah. it. You're going to ask for it. Well, you got to be so difficult, Juan. Not Juan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I, knowing me and how I am, I'm, just, I, I'm like, dude, if I if I sleep up there, I want to be able to plug my phone in. Charge. 100%. Because we all, like, let's face it, all of us, like, almost scroll or fall asleep. Right, and I don't want to have to like scroll and then get down. Or hey, can you plug my phone no, in? Like, yeah, you know. Absolutely. So having the outlets there would be beneficial. Yeah, but sure. adding the use of SBs, that's a great idea. Just plug and in. that's the kind of stuff. And you know, I think you guys have learned about us. It's that customer feedback. Yeah, for sure. That makes yeah. us better. I would tell you that seventy-five percent of the features in this product, I mean this, are, are customer-driven features. They're not my ideas. They're yeah. great ideas. We crowdsource. We've asked for. That's how you become cool, better. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. we're glad you pay attention. <laughs> well, the reality is, unfortunately, the sad part is, I'd say ninety percent of the folks who do what I do are are not avid campers. So it baffles me that you know we're the yeah. ones consulting amongst each other about what's best for the end consumer. Yeah. If you're not listening, you're not being innovative. You're not getting better. You recognize that early on. For sure. So. Change is good. Yeah. For, sure. Yeah, for sure. So. Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. I want to give a quick shout out to Ab and that was not scripted we walked up not expecting to see him he just started talking to us like like we were family uh, he obviously cares oh, go ahead sir <laughs> sure um, he obviously cares he knows his stuff uh, gave us all the info plus plus extra extra info that we weren't expecting to uh, find out and uh, just very happy and and thankful that he uh, spent the time to break it down and to answer our question so uh i hope i hope he <laughs> he sees himself on on the video i'm gonna hopefully i'll be able to tag him uh and again if you guys have any questions let us know we're gonna keep walking around and and uh record a little bit more of the show hopefully we'll see something else uh you ready for some uh icy is this where it is oh no i wasn't even paying attention I lemonade, lemonade. leave the uh, RV Super Show without showing you the brand new Brinkley there's two models uh, from what I understand it was some of the guys that left uh, Grand Design and uh, started up this uh, Brinkley brand so far we've only seen other youtubers like uh, Matt's he does a great uh, review talking about the uh, the new Brinkley models we're gonna do a quick run through just to give you an idea you know at least a different perspective hopefully but uh, so far so far they're beautiful on the outside I'm gonna do a quick walk around. There's too many people inside right now. It's a really sleek design. The windows are awesome. A little bit of storage in the back. It's got how many slides? Two slides that I can see. Step ladder to the roof. But 
Got the CRE 3000 suspension. Enough room for my mother in law. This is a promo. This is the number one on the Pretty good storage in the front as well. This is the Z. See if I can sneak in there. Ooh. You got your Moride four step ladder. It's got a nifty little handle here as well. That stores away, pulls out when you need it. Ooh, I knew this one was going to be a. Uh, a full. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was gonna be full in here. I knew it. How do you like it? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good, man. It looks great. Looks great. Yeah. I knew that you guys were gonna have a lot of traffic. Yeah. Yeah. They've been mentioning how the uh, sofa color looks very different online as uh, in comparison to here in person but it does look like a very subtle natural light brown color if it comes out orange on screen it definitely is not you got a little place here to charge your phone cabinetry up top Storage up top as well. You got your televator with some more storage. Electric fireplace. Huge island. Wow, this is really pretty. They did a great job with the colors, with the decor. Look at that. Look at that stove top. Wow, full house. I knew that this Brinkley was going to be. Full, full. People are going to line up to see this. This is beautiful. I think there's a light sensor in here that might not be working right now. Lots of storage space. Sorry, guys, if I'm a little close, it's a little bit cramped in here. And the lights are off. Oh, let me see. Where are the lights? Well, I don't know where the light switch is. This one doesn't have the washer dryer in it, but it is prepped for washer dryer. Like I said, this is the Z model. This one is the fifth wheel. Lots of storage right here. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven drawers. And I think this one slides out up top. Yep. Slide out top. I hope you guys are seeing this because it's a little bit dark in here. Oh, there's the light switch. Lights aren't working. <laughs> Cubby. Those are actually your nightstands up top. I believe this is a king bed. Let me tell you that the core is beautiful in here. Really nice window. Really nice. All right. Let's walk over to the bathroom. Pug. Pug a door. That's nice. I know Matthew always complains about ours that it like floats around. Oh, how pretty. Really, really great decor in here. Whoever designed their, uh, their interior did an awesome job. Got the fancy shower head. Let's see what it looks like from the inside of the shower. Let's see, put my bag up there. There's plenty of space in here. I'm only 5'7", so man, you can easily be about 6'2", six, 6'3", six, and fit in here without a problem. You got your magnetized toilet paper holder down there, porcelain toilet. Oh yeah, I saw this. Oh no, regular copy. I thought that was gonna slide out. Maybe I'm confusing it with a different rig. Plenty of storage in there. I think it's the, the travel, not the travel trailer, what am I talking about? I think it's the uh, toy hauler. 
that has the uh, pantry. Look how many people are in here. Everybody wants to see this. This is amazing. This, this rig is beautiful. Hope I'm not missing anything. Let's check out. This is the... Oh, I said it earlier. I can't remember. Oh, this is the other model. Which is this one? The G? The G, the Z, the M, the R? I can't remember. This is the toy hauler. A toy hauler. Yeah, let's just say toy hauler. This is amazing. All right, I walked in to walk right back out. So let's start. Let's come in from the back side. You got your deck back here. Three step more ride. Step up. That's your garage with the happy jacks right there. My brother Juan just making faces. I think that's for your guns. Oh, yeah. a, <laughs> you have a lot. <laughs> We have a loft up here. Let's see. Let's see how deep that goes. Ah, too short. Oh wait. Way deeper than I expected it to be. The ladder's a little flimsy, but maybe it's just not locked in place. You got your half bath right here. Again with a magnetized toilet paper holder, porcelain tub. Wow, again, they just did such a great job with the decor. Blackouts. Nice. I wonder what that's for. I have no idea what that thing is for. If you know what that is for, Leave a comment down below, I have no idea. I don't know what that does. With a massive bed that comes up, or comes down as well. Really cool. You got a glass door here. To separate the garage from the rest of the rig. And I'll walk to the bedroom. Wow, <laughs> so many people. I've never seen so many people checking out a rig. I'll start with the bathroom because it's the only area that there's nobody in. Look at this. This is what I had seen. I thought it was the uh, the fifth wheel, but it's the uh, the toy hauler. Look at all that storage. Wow. This this is a one piece shower as well. It's really pretty. Instead of having that stone look. You got two spots to put your feet up if you're gonna shave your legs, ladies. Or if you're just, you know, really small and you need to uh, sit somewhere. You got a garbage in there. Also your magnetized toilet paper holder. So it won't shoot around as you're driving. Lots of cabinetry space. Lots of cabinet, cabinetry space. I like that not all those cables are just hanging down like they normally do you actually have so much space you can probably even put like a little whoops sorry the camera is not in the right place you can probably even put like another little shelf to have a, a, two t a two tier shelving area in there four drawers on the side dovetailed and the quality is here you can see it not only in the uh, decor but in the construction Get your medicine cabinet. It's not that bad. I know some of the other sites were saying that it, it looks looks cheap because maybe because it has a, a light frame, a uh, thin frame. I'm sorry, but uh, it's not too bad. We'll slide here to the outside. Sorry. <laughs> oh wait for you guys. Sorry. Thank you. We'll switch once you go. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Thank you. Wow. Oh, this air feels awesome. Got your power control system there, your battery. And again, this whole backside is is pretty much identical to the uh, to the fifth wheel. Let's see if they do have a washer dryer in here. They do. Washer dryer, 
Oh, let me back up a little so you guys can see that better. Oh, I'll open up both doors. See? Washer, dryer, prep. And they include a folding basket or a laundry basket up top as well. Nice little place to hide it. More storage here on the side. Wow. I don't know if this one had, if the other one had the storage on the side, but it probably did and I just missed it. And again, you have plenty of closet space with a hanging rod there. Oh, there you go. It's motion activated, so the light turns on. The light is on the hanging rod. Really pretty. I'm going to pause it here for a second so I can get through. Alright, so moved over to the kitchen. It's like a party in here. They got the music in the background. Look, look at that pantry. I don't know if you guys can hear me. So many, oh, somebody broke it. Tremendous pantry there. Really pretty decor. And again, the sofa, same color. If it looks orange on screen, it's actually a very soft like a like a baseball glove like a, the, the color of a, of a light baseball color baseball glove color that's what it looks like it doesn't look orange at all in person let's check out this pantry there is a step in the bottom so so that it doesn't slide open or closed when uh, you're driving so that it stays in place all of the uh, cubbies are adjustable close that up Beautiful oven too. Three cooktop burner. Little oven in the bottom. At your microwave, this might be convection. Yes, it is a convection microwave. It's huge as well. Residential fridge. I really like that it's black too. Usually I like the stainless steel, but with the decor in here, it looks great. The black appliances with the decor you have the gold handles on all the cabinetry doors storage up top are these soft clothes yes they're soft clothes i believe they're all soft clothes more storage your sink with your drain Little place for towels. And these are supposed to hang here. So they may have taken them off. Maybe they broke too many people coming through and looking at and pulling. May have fallen apart. So really, really nice. All the drawers are made really well. You got a cutting board. Yeah, that's right. And this portion of the island comes up and rests on this lip to give you an island that wraps around. Comes all the way around this way. Nice little window there next to the sink. Oh, this is crazy. Pull out the dog bowl. They did say also they're going to add a fireplace in this section right here in this bare area where the TV is. So there is a fireplace coming soon down here. This is a prototype model. So there are changes to come, but I believe they are already taking orders. This is amazing. I think you'd need like a 4500. I don't think a... Uh, I don't think a one ton will pull this to be honest. But let me tell you. I'd have to get more... I'd have to upgrade my truck again if I was to get something like this. This is crazy. Let me flip it around so you can see the outside. Again, this is the toy hauler. It's beautiful. Great job. You've got uh, your fuel here, you have uh, your uh, compressed air here, Cooper tires. No. 
I love how they colored or they painted the uh, the glass on the outside to match to match the skin. Really pretty. Wow, look at this. Oh man, yeah. Look, and they have they have the uh, more right slides on both sides, just for all your extras down there. You've got an electric reel for your electric cord. Another more right over here. A bunch of storage. A bunch of storage. Look at that. That's great. I will definitely put the word out. All your electric. This one is show price at. Dang. This is awesome. Get your propane tanks here. They look short because you can go bigger if you want. But those are 30 right now. I think you can go to a 40. You got your other motor right slide, comes with your coil water hose there, Rockford Fards Gate system, Oop, with all of your extra controls up top. I'll get close so you can read what they are. And you've got an exterior cooler for your chocolate milk. It's beautiful. You've done a great job. I gotta get out of here. There's too many people here. This has been a long day. A lot of people clearing out. Now's the time to come see the RVs because you don't have so many people standing in line. So if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. If uh, you like the models that you saw, we'll ask you to like. Uh, and comment down below. We're definitely, uh, I wanna say about 99% that that alliance that we saw is what we're going for. But uh, if you guys have any suggestions of any model similar to that, that's what we're looking for. We'll ask you to comment down below and let us know what do we need to find? What do we need to look for? Uh, so if you like content like this, we ask you to like and subscribe, comment, uh, Help us out. <laughs> we're, in a, we're in search for the, our new uh, fifth wheel, and uh, we are selling our Grand Design Imagine 3100 RD. So, uh, if you know of anyone, let us know. But this uh, pretty much sums it up. We thank you for watching, and uh, we hope you have safe travels. We'll see you soon. you intentionally buy that Yeti water bottle to match your shirt? No. I just happen to like yellow. Wow. It, it's like it's like you color coded today. Like What's up with that? <laughs>